At UCLA, Dr. Thelma Moss explores the strange world of Curlian photography. Our procedure evolved so that we would cut a leaf directly from the plant. Then, before the leaf was ever placed on film, part of it was cut. It was then placed in contact with the 4 by 5 piece of film, covered with a piece of glass, and with a piece of copper backing. An electrode was attached to the stem of the leaf. Suddenly, the phantom. Not only do we see the edge where the leaf has been sharply cut, but continuing beyond where we assume the leaf would show had it not been cut away. Here is a phantom produced not in our laboratory, but by Mr. Robert Wagner at Cal State Long Beach. One of the inexplicable phenomena that a number of experimenters reported is the phantom effect. It now has been repeated by many American investigators as well as investigators around the world. This eye belief reveals the typical corona discharge of its species. If a portion of the leaf is removed, a typical picture would appear this way. However, what occurs on occasion is a photograph of the portion that was removed. In this experiment, there is a piece of opaque plastic over the cut portion of the leaf indicating that this phantom cannot be escaping water vapor or gases from uncut portion of the leaf. The image will even go through a barrier. Skeptics have claimed that Curlian auras are nothing more than fancy sparks until the startling phantom leaf experiment was performed by several independent investigators. Ready to go? A generating apparatus produces a controlled alternating current of 40,000 volts. Can you make a longer spark? Part of a still living leaf is cut away and a Curlian movie recorded. You. In this case, with a video image intensifier, the faint electric field can be seen and recorded only in total darkness. One would expect to see just the uncut part of the leaf, and that is usually the case. On rare occasions, however, the leaf seems to remember a ghost of the missing portion. Evidence for the first time that the physical body is not all there is to life.